Hello there guys, Coaster Chow here, Doncasterborn, but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be talking about Energylandia, a dream theme park of mine and I've checked booking.com, the prices for hotels and travel are very cheap compared to previous years uh, but Energylandia is the focus today and it is on their brand new area Aqualantis and their brand new Vacoma double launch roller coaster Abyssus. Now, we have a confirmed opening date for this coaster, and you saw me mention it a little bit in the Tivoli Gardens video that we were loaded just earlier. Uh, so, we're going to go into more details about this, share my thoughts on the new opening, on the confirmed opening date for the public, and share my thoughts on the whole area, because of course this will be probably the last video that we do on this construction project. Again, another project that's come and gone on this channel. So, before we get started guys, make sure you like the video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe if you are new around here, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. Also guys, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you can submit your own ideas for the channel, we'll record the videos and uh, I'll record as many as possible. And for now guys, let's have a look at exactly what's going on with Energylandia and Abyssus, the brand new roller coaster as part of the Aquilantis area for 2021 because an opening date for the public has now been confirmed. So of course it's been confirmed by numerous sources, Abyssus and Aqualantis will open on the 14th of July 2021 for the public. We're only, you know, a couple of days away now, two, three days away from this um, new ride and this new area. Now obviously for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, Abyssus is a Vacoma double launch coaster. Uh, it is the Vacoma Shockwave model. It has a height of 38 meters, a speed of 100 kilometers per hour, and a length of 1,318 feet of track. Now, of course, this doesn't come by itself. There is the whole area uh, that comes with the coaster. Now, obviously, you're probably wanting to know what other rides and attractions the whole family can experience in Energylandia's new area, Aqualantis. Well, you've got Submarine Dive, you've got Grotto Expedition, uh, you've also got this uh, sort of water area, the Aqua Jump, the High Jump, uh, you've got Burning Engine, you've got Magic Pump, which is a nice new family ride, you've got uh, the Tidal Wave Twister, uh, which is your Zampella Disco Coaster, you've also got Stormy Ship, which is your, which is your Zampola Rocking Tub, basically a, a kid's version of the Disco Coaster. You've got the Ekapa Light Explorers as well. And also in the area, you've got Abyssus Supplies, Merchant of Aqualantis, and Coral Candy, which is a nice stall there in the area. So with a bit more details on the uh, coaster itself in terms of elements, we have four inversions on this coaster. We have an LSM launch, an LSM boost, a loop, a batwing, and a corkscrew at a cost of 11 million euros. That is surprisingly cheap for an amazing looking coaster. Now it was designed by a guy called Benjamin Blomendahl, who is one of my dream interviews for this channel. So Benjamin, if you're watching this, I'd love to reach out as soon as possible. The theme was done by Jorovision Europe BV, a brilliant company, by the way. I've got to shout out uh, Jorovision Europe. They've done uh, 10 roller coasters, including a Abyssus. Uh, the other ones they've done is Battle of Jungle King and Crazy Jars and Soaring with Dragon and Worm Coaster, all at Heifei Sunak Land over in Asia. You've also got Eagle Warrior at Vin Wonders, uh, uh, Fireball at Furovic, Pegasse Express at Park Asterix, Pulsar at Wallaby, Belgium, and Tiki Waka at Wallaby, Belgium as well. So they've done a lot of coasts in Europe, few in Asia in terms of theming levels, and it's a brilliant, brilliant coaster. So let's share my thoughts on the official opening dates of Abyssus and the Aqualantis area at Energylandia in Poland. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seeks of All Ages. That is the opening date confirmed for the public for Abyssus and Aqualantis at Energylandia in Zator, Poland. Now, I've been a fan of Energylandias for a long time now, for a good few years, ever since they first opened this park. And the park have liked quite a few of my posts on social media when I posted videos about their park. So, big shout out to the team at Energylandia, huge fans of the channel, and uh, very good to hear that. Uh, now... 
We've covered these projects for a good year or year and a half now. We've covered Aqualantis on this channel, I've covered, you know, Abyssus on this channel before. Loads of updates, POV reveals, construction updates, the official reveal. You know, I posted so much about this whole area and the new coaster. It's been hard to keep track sometimes and you know, again, this is, this is making me emotional, man, because this is another project coming and going. And, um, you know, I've had a blast covering this project, personally, on this channel. I've had such a blast covering the, the construction of this, the reveal of this, the POVs, the testing, the opening date confirmed. Now, this is the last video until I actually go out there and experience the ride myself. This is the last construction or news update of, all, and of any kind on this project. Like I said, the next video you will see from this ride is me going out there in the future to ride this myself and to experience the area myself uh, in Poland. Like I said, Booking.com does some really good prices for travel and, and airports and stuff like that. So, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, if I can get the money together in a few years, I'll be able to go out there and experience it myself. Uh, but it looks amazing. The theme looks incredible and well worth a, a visit over there in Europe. So, uh, big up to the team at Energylandia, and I really can't wait for the opening of this in a couple of days' time. So... There we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching the final news update on Aqualantis and Abyssus at Energylandia. Please like, comment, subscribe if you're new around here. Click the OK bell so you never miss another video. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell, Caitlin on the Coast of Life, and I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an Energylandia-tastic day. Oh, I can't wait.